hey, I'm here cooking. I, I can prove to you, look, I've got the chopped garlic. But I was thinking about this this afternoon, you know, because I've written about not voting for the Democrats. I've made some scathing attacks on them and so forth. And so people are, you know, people say, well, what can you do? You know, the thing is, I've never voted for a Democrat or Republican, but I always put something in because you have to defend. It shows that I believe that you have to have defend the right to vote, even if it's for one of their candidates, because we won that from them. You know, we won that from them. But you don't have to vote for them. So what's the alternative? You know, I was thinking, because I was in a group of people this weekend that made me think about it. The thing is, if you're in a union, most workers in America, and they'll call themselves middle class sometimes, most of the time, most workers in America that, that, that see, uh, 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 look at a party that bothered to vote and look at a party that they think can help them, is that they, they're Democrats. You know, m many, many more each time are giving up. They're just dropping out altogether. I've written about that. That's not what I want to talk about here. So if you, so if you, if I, I don't think you should vote for anybody. Don't for any, but don't vote for these Democrats. This con game they're pulling on us time and time and time again. Don't vote for them. Don't go to the Trump. Don't go to the right wing as an act of desperation or what have you. You know, but so you so what can you do? So if you can be active in a community, just as your block. I'm not active in much. I'm too old, and everything else changed for me. But 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 um, in your block, if you have a block association, we can discuss this. You can bring it up. You know, and fight for it. If some people say no politics, that's common here in America. It's common. No politics. No politics is everything. Is where we eat, where we live, whether we eat, whether our kids go to school. So you can bring it up there, and don't attack anybody for voting Democratic that doesn't want is afraid of the trump for all the reasons right uh, don't, don't don't attack them you know yeah vote go ahead this isn't going to be the last election so what can we do as a community and i live in a small town we can take a position we want an alternative not just progressive not just a, a, a left democrat not we want an alternative organization political organization through which we can fight and raise these issues. We can raise that in our community, in our, in our block, raise it in our, uh, our area and so forth and raise it at the city council and make it public, put it on next door. This horribly depressing thing, I stay on it for it's useful uh, but at times, but put it on there. That's what we should be doing. You know, that's what we should be doing. Go ahead and vote for Democrat this time. It's okay, I don't care. I'm not gonna vote for him. I'll probably vote though, and I, I, I will probably vote green. To be honest with you, I'll get on to. I don't want to get on to making this longer than what it is. I don't have too much hope in the greens either. Though I've met some very good people through it. But the thing is, so yeah, you can. That's our alternative. That's not just the same old depressing crap. I got to cook this casserole. I promise I'd have it ready. You know, <laughs> Ricardo Mendilon has to, has to, has to uh, produce. All right. Talk to you later.